On behalf of TVLesson.com, this is Master Jeff Wade with SouthMiamiTaekwondo.com. In this clip on weapon disarms, I'm going to show you how to disarm a knife that's being slashed back and forth across your midsection. Let's take it slowly first. The attacker is slashing back and forth. I've got to decide when I'm going to go in. And I want to go in when the knife is on the outside. And then I'm going to do what I call an I love you man position. I've got this arm over his shoulder, this arm under his shoulder. This arm contains the knife, uh, the knife arm. He can poke me in the back or cut me a little bit, but he's not going to do a whole lot of damage. This side is under his shoulder, so I can twist my hips into him, take him over, and now I've got his arm still here. I can bend it this way, putting my knee in his throat and his ribs, and break his shoulder. Unfortunately for him, I have no access to the knife, so in order to get the knife out, cancel Christmas, break the shoulder. Let's look at that uh, one time in real time. Remember, with any weapon disarm, you have to decide where you're going to go after you've done what you're going to do. Are you going to take the knife away and try to fight the guy with the knife, or are you just going to make the escape? My recommendation is to go for escape. Our four rules of knife biting are you will get cut, whether it's you holding the knife or the bad guy. On behalf of TVLesson.com, this is Master Jeff Wade. Thank you for watching.